Welcome back to another episode of Empyrean. Galactic Survival, we are playing Alpha 12, we are playing Project Eden, and we are playing that very hard scenario, which is Dark Rogue. Let's continue from where I left off. And uh, just before we start, I will just uh, include a small clip of my in-between episodes, uh, what I have done besides building, which I will show you guys in a moment. I did uh, face off another base attack, which went much more smoothly than the, than the previous one on the previous episode. And, well, I am running out of food. Let me grab one of these. And also went out with my hoover vessel again uh, to try to scavenge for a little bit more food and always in the lookout for golems or stone golems and the wood walkers, wood monsters, I don't know. So I will show you guys a small clip uh, to see what I have done between episodes. So, as you have seen, um, the base attack, it was pretty easy comparing with the, with the previous one. I didn't lose any turrets. It, it was... Um, it, the, the drones got, uh, uh, got caught on the side of the mountain and that was much more easy to manage than the first attack. And in terms of exploration, nothing special. Some stones, some islands, some copper. Uh, in, terms of, in terms of monsters, I didn't find any golems, I did find, however, one wood walker. So that's amazing because we found more sprouts and he also gave me, um, I don't remember, I don't know if I have here, I think it was a couple of um, plant proteins, which I, of course, uh, between episodes, it, it's, it's, it's what I'm going to show you guys now. I have crafted this small farming plot area. And I did transform those those plant proteins over here on this Ahax plant over here. So hopefully we'll get uh, some uh, some uh, plant proteins out of this soon enough. And I think that's what, that was pretty much it. I have been building outside. Nothing special. Let me use the drone. What else? I, I, I am expanding a little bit further to this side. I will. I want to open up this bottom area of the base. Nothing special. I, I did move my um, generators down here. So we have here the two portable two portable constructors and my four um, O2 water generators. And upstairs, I think that's pretty the same. We go up, weekly up. Yep, I did. Ex I am extending over here to this side. I want a small anger. I don't want my hoover vessel part on that side. I will move it to this side. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a scenario that you will have you will have to grind a lot, and that this is my best uh, options uh, to keep uh, going forward. I'm loving it every single bit, even if I'm playing uh, with uh, without uh, live recording. I always record, but uh, I will use the clips for the in between videos. Today's episode. Today's episode again. If you see, this is the food that I have. Even with a farming plot, I am running really uh, out of food um, fast. Nine salamis, and that's it. And salamis, and one emergency ration. Hopefully, the farm plots 
will yield something and then I think I will be okay. Second thing, after the food get, it's taken care of, it's power. In terms of power, our base, we have one hour and, 20, and 25 and 29 minutes with pretty much everything off. Both of the constructors are off and the food processor is off. The only thing that it's on, it's the, it's the, the farm uh, light and the turrets. What, how many, um, how many uh, fuel packs? I have four on me. What else? I think that's pretty much it. I did place another cargo box over here. I still have a bigger one up there. But this is my personal belongings, the healing items and whatnot. But I'm not seeing any more. So I don't have any more fuel packs. And that's the reason why I am waiting for the drone attacks. I'm waiting for the drone attacks. When is the next drone attack? Less than one day, so it should be soon enough. And it's a drone attack, but I also like to call it when I can easily handle them. Uh, energy delivery time. So that's that's a good thing. We have four. And of course, if I go into my inventory, my main uh, cargo box. I, 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 of course, I have nine Prometheum ore that I got from a stone golem and three Prometheum pellets. I'm saving those. It's it's so, such a small quantity for them. I have to craft it now. Let me turn on this quickly. We are going to craft a drill, which I haven't done so. And I'm going to get, might need to unlock, go to the base. I want a medic station. Medical device. There you go. Unlock. I hope I have enough. Get a medical device. Here it is. Okay. So the drill and the medical device. When the, this uh, constructor is working, the power left goes uh, goes down just for ten minutes. So micromanaging everything. That's what I am doing. Oh, and we need to craft real quickly. Um charges just one for the drill charges and for the multi charges we need promethium i can also use it of course to craft more fuel packs but it, it is going to be my last resort i will first go into my wood on on the biofuel which is not amazing but uh, before going into promethium unless i find of course enough promethium if i don't this is my uh, go to uh, uh, option to save a little bit of Prometheum. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So today's episode, hopefully, we'll get our f first um, uh, yield of the farm. I want uh, to check the cave first. Let me, and I was also want to go over here. To, I know you are in the in, in the in the in the wrong spot. Let's. Place our can go can go on the top because I, I just need to access it. Let's place it like this, and there you go. Link back to full. It 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 is good up there. Okay. So I want first today's episode. I hope I get the base attack. Not that I am looking forward for the. My medium armor is almost destroyed, which is not good because every single shot we take more damage. Oh well. Problem out of after problem after problem. That's what you get on, uh, on Project Eden. That's what you get. So, but what what I really want? It's food. I think what I, I what I need the most. We have 115 and I am slowly going into my salami. <laughs> I cannot eat you. I cannot. Well, you don't give me any food. You give me four food. So I'm not going anywhere. Nope. Five food. We have here varon root and spiky mushroom. But uh, well, they, this one can be used to cure radiation. It gives me food. 50. Okay. A lot of health. And uh, again, this gives me a lot of health, but no food. So I am really relying on getting this farm going. Something the wheat. Uh, anything, anything, please. 
anything. Well, I think after collecting for the first time, for the first first round, my farm, uh, I should be fine. So base attack. Attack still less than one day. We are going bring you Lamis, my last resort of food, and we are going out for a small trip. Oh, not doing nothing. There you go. Get me more oxygen. The other ones are working, except you, so these also work. Let's go. I have a lot of oxygen. My also my, my base it all also has oxygen. The farm plots need oxygen. Come on. In terms of fuel, 38 minutes. So we should be fine. Okay, and we still have um since I have a little bit of time. More. And I, I st wasn't still able to check if this kind of uh, markers still work. Yes, I know, I know. I have been marking. We have, uh, I have been marking on the map the place whenever I find... I to shoot you, my friend. You are food. I'm to shoot. This, these level 10s are not the best um, choice to shoot because they do take a lot of damage for dying and a lot of damage means... Oh! You hearing some? Oh! Okay, we have more food. More food incoming. Okay. Move over here quickly. Come on, come on. Oh. oh, you already have it. And where is the other? Do that or do that. No. Why? My small trip it was to get food. Might be enough. Come on. Sniper, sniper. In the face. Man, the damage that these guys take. Right. In again. Away. There it is. One. Are you dead? No. Wow. The the sound, the sound that these guys do. Okay, and we are here. Oh, I, I I forgot to bring my my uh, drill, my new drill. To get these rocks, it won't matter much. But to get deposits and even to dig, to increase my base, it's going to be awesome. So, okay. So before being rudely interrupted by these two monsters, I was trying to explain that um, I wasn't yet been able to check if these markers that I have been leaving <laughs> all over the planet, uh, well, not this one, which is a, a crater with pentaxid, but this golem, this wood, golem and wood, I don't, uh, what I want to check is, is if they do respawn at the same spot. The first area. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they, I think they do respawn. Let me let me get him. Okay. Come on. So this kind of um, wood walker. Oops, almost, almost, and a spider. Okay. Okay, let me fight the remaining nasty things. Let's let's attract them a little bit further out, because I will run in. Come on, come on, come on. Let's 
stupid come on. That was so stupid. Okay. Back away, try again. Good enough, well, clumsy enough, but it was uh, worth it. We got our woodwalker. What, what did we get? I even in deal all of the excitement. I did miss. We got copper. I think this these ones we got more Ajax plants, some plant proteins, corn. Well, in the alien thorns and more wood. Okay, that's really really nice. So let's return to the base. It seems that if the wood block, wood woodwalkers now, now that I now that I know the name, there, there is no reason why I should be calling them wood um, wood monsters. I like the name, but let's call them what they are, and they are woodwalkers. Let's return, guys. This main, this first, or this small trip, it was clearly to get food. I think I have now food, wait for the crops to grow. I am on the other side of the mountain. And of course, since we have solved the food issue for a while, now I need to solve the power issue for a while also. And that relies on getting the drones to attack me. Off. Much better. Need to open up a little bit this, but much better. Did I drop anything here? No, everything is on me. Let's go back downstairs again. Very good, very good. We'll drop everything over here. Not the energy, but the alien thorn. And wow, so many sprouts. Look at this. If I knew that I was going to get more of this, I would be spending the other plant proteins that I had in uh, getting spoiled food. It's it's one of the ingredients to get spoiled food. It's plant proteins. I think one give you five spoiled food, which was what I needed. Craft over here the, the the farm plots. Okay. So in terms of power, it's slowly trickling away. Fifty two minutes, and this is no joke. What I can do is. Let's use the five logs that we got, place them over here, and queue up whatever we can we can get from the from the portable constructors. And I I, I will show you guys. This is hardcore level. At least I like playing almost hardcore. Instead of placing this directly in the in the cargo, that it will. Um, Oh, I cannot do anything with them, but uh, if I had five or more, I would place over here and get the ingots. That will save some crafting time on the on the main constructors. Oops. Four player, give me my new drill, my drill charges. I will switch for the main cargo box and place a little bit copper of and silicon. That's nice. So in terms of base attacks, please. How are you? Less than one day. So guys, while I wait for the base attacks, I will refurbish a little bit the base, which means I will increase a little bit these blocks and whatnot, and I will keep an eye out. Oh, are you ready? So nice. So nice. Look at this. Six grain and some herbal leaves. Beautiful. Uh, anything else? Remaining stuff, it's, it's growing. So herbal leaves, which we might be able to craft our first bandage this is what i have in terms of health packs one one and it was one of the reasons if i was going to run out of bandages and health packs i would restart the game i don't mind dying i haven't done died yet but at least for two times i was really lucky i was right at the end of my health but i don't mind dying i will respawn and try to resume but uh, I don't. I, I would really like like to avoid dying because I'm running out of oxygen or food or healing items. So uh, if that happens, I will um, restart the the scenario. 
if I, I die somewhere around there that I can survive, I can return or I can respawn over here, I will continue the game um, like like and start from where I was. Uh, if I run out of anything that I really think it's necessary, then I will restart. And with one bandage and one health pack, I'm not. Go uh, I'm really not feeling into going into into any Zarax POI and exploring and whatnot, or even to the cave. I know that usually the caves have a lot of spiders or those alien things, and I might need some healing. So let's try to get a little bit more prepared. I think I this I wanted to give you guys this explanation. While we wait for the drone attacks, less than one day. It might take a while. This less than one day. It's still a a big interval. I will I will be doing a little bit of building. Okay, a little bit of building done. Nothing special. It was just a lot of placement of concrete blocks. And I am running out of food, so I I will need to craft something. Let's let's before going there, let's check our uh, status. We have thirty five minutes of power left, so we 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 are still okay, and I still have some some fuel packs prometium. I did place the wood that I got from the wood walker, not on this one, but on this one, and all the wood gave me seventeen. Biofuel. I'm going to throw all of it into the base. Manage. Let's see the difference. 4%. 18%. Amazing. Amazing power. 2 hours and 34 minutes. So, as long... Well, there, there might be a lot of ways to go around uh, doing it. But as long as you find the wood uh, walkers, you should be fine if you can spare some wood uh, to uh, craft biofuel. Oh, which? No, no, come on. I will disconnect. Connect. Go. Oh, oh. Have a little bit of grain, the two meat that I got from the spiders, or it was not the spiders, it was the other monsters. The salamis. Can I craft something amazing with it? On. We can craft a burger? Man, let's go. Let's go for the burger. Oh, I, we, yes, we, we have some plant proteins for the milk. Okay, okay, nice. Can I get more than one burger? And that would be amazing. Well, getting the burgers. And we can even get some sandwich. Might be also a good option. Well, Everything else except for the grilled steaks and the energy bars because I am tired of it. We, tire, we, we might get one. Yeah, we have the salamis instead of hitting directly the salamis. Let's get some sandwich going. There you go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Remember, turn off to turn off the food processor. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, energy. I will show you guys in a moment. Let me get the the burger. One burger. Can I get anything else from the farm? I have to place some some stairs up here. Nope, not yet, not yet. But yeah, the the, the hardest it's get it's to get the first crops. After that, should be easy. So uh, we have the burger. Come on, come on, bread. Come on, bread, and, and give me the the sandwich, please. Mm. It's something so trivial, uh, the crafting of a sandwich. Not in Dark Rogue. You will enjoy crafting a sandwich in Dark Rogue. I, I can't tell you this for sure. You have to try this scenario. And if you when you when you craft a burger or when you craft a sandwich, if you don't feel anything special, you don't deserve this scenario. That's my advice to you. Well, um I don't know if you guys are going to believe it or not. When you, you hover something on the on the tech tree, you have of course several um, stats on each uh, on each uh, item, and you have, for instance, if you go to the small constructor, it says energy in uh, and energy in idle. So, for instance, this small constructor it costs five PUs in terms if it's uh, on but not being used. Which is not being craft, which is not crafting something, and when it's crafting something, it it costs 
250 PUs. You can see the, the first, or the, the second and the third stats on this tooltip. And this is something that, of, of course, I have read about it, but it's kind of, I skip through it. It, 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 it isn't never important to look at these two uh, stats. Well, playing Dark Rogue, uh, I am, and I have learned that the food processor, for instance, even idle, costs 30 PUs. So that's, that, that, that's it. Turn off your food processor. Uh, comparing with the large constructor, it costs three more times having uh, the food processor idle, then it costs the large constructor, which energy idle, it's 10 PUs. And you can compare these two ones. For instance, this energy in, it's half of this one. So if you can craft the items on this one, you should not use this one. And I'm going even one step further. If I, if I don't need to craft here or here, I will craft on the portable constructor, which is free. Okay, let me get the burger. Give me the burger. Oh, look, look. Ooh, the, the how I think it's the the greatest amount of increase of of my food bar in this playthrough from 55 to 265 amazing and I even have here some strandage look at this amazing so beautiful so beautiful okay good enough sorry for the waffle but you are playing dark rogue you are going to share my feeling uh, the ability to craft your own food and do not, not need to scavenge for the food every freaking time. Okay, we can pick up some sweeteners. Oops, not with the drone. Okay, everything else should be up soon enough. Okay, there we go. Sweeteners. I don't know. They are used for something amazing, but okay. They might be useful. Okay, and I am still waiting for the base attack. But did, did it change? No, less than one day. Okay, if I remember correctly, that's what I will do. If I remember correctly, the base attack won't happen unless we are here. So uh, I was hoping for the base attack then to go out and hunt for some golems, which it won't take too long, so we are going to do that. Golems or uh, wood walkers, and then return. Uh, if we were, if we are unlucky, the the, mom, the moment that we arrive over here, we will get a base attack. But um, I, I won't be waiting for this because it it's still a big time interval, and it might might take a while. So let's go and explore and find some more more golems because that it it, it would be an amazing uh, progression on our playthrough. Okay, and I was in well minding my own, my own business, crafting the food process on the food processor. I have my on my hot uh, on my toolbar uh, eight. I'm going to pour again over here eight amazing sandwiches, and uh, well, I was running to my Hoover vessel, but now we have the soon, which soon means really soon. So let's I will uh, edit the video a little bit and let's wait for the for the base attack. I will. Uh, do a little bit of constructing over here. While we we still wait for the base attack, um, just a small tip. I, of course, I like to to give small tips when I when I forget my own tips. I could have crafted a long a long time ago an armor locker for my base, and I had two light armors. You can craft easily the light armors if you don't have one, and the, the light armors comparing with the medium armor you have a look at the food consumption rate 1.70 1.73 the food consumption rate of our medium armor and with the light armor 1.44 so that might make a little bit of a difference you are strapped with food and you have a, a base where you can stay for a while so if uh, i wanted to save more in terms of food consumption if I am over here uh, just doing uh, base stuff, which is crafting and and even uh, crafting my new small vessel or hoover vessel, while I'm here, I should be using the light armor. Of course, never go out without changing for your, your medium armor. But if you can micromanage also that part of the game, it's a, a, a way to save a little bit of, of food if you are uh, running out of it.
And there it is, the warning. Zarax are under. We are under attack by the Zarax. Finally, finally. And let's hope. Uh, this is my third base attack. Let's hope it is good as it was my second one. Turn this on. I, I might need it. Let's get the temperature under control. We wait. It's usually you have like 30 seconds until the approach. I have three turrets. Wait for a little a little while longer. A couple of seconds. Because I will run uh, I will get too cold. There they are. Driving for from our uh, it's from a different side, I hope everything go goes well. It is kind of shooting, you can see. Someone is shooting. A lot of rocket drones. Oh, oh. Come on, shoot me, shoot me. No, 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 no. Shoot me, but. No, uh, Come on, let's do a drop. Nice, one down. I am it. I'm very chicken. There we go. All the work has been done by my. But the there we go. Uh, that that one was my kill. Anyone else? I have one. I know. Oh. I'm too cold to come on. I, I am too excited of in the shoot it, shoot it. And there it is. Okay. I don't think that we have lost a single <sighs> I know this Hoover vessel needs a lot of improvement. In terms of handling, of course, having uh, being inside a hole does not help. But okay, so let me go out. Please, so you are looted. One, the first one we, we got three uh, fuel packs and more three and some bullets. More tree and some couple wiring. There are the other one. One, two, three. I think they were four. Up, up there. Let me use my hover vessel. Go up there. Can climb up mountain. But it's a, it's a small clumsy hover vessel, but it can. Go up the mountains, come on. Oh, some rocks. Uh, 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 no, but some power cuts. Cannot complain. It was... Were they... Um, how many they were? Four? Five? One, two, three. I got... Did I get the other... This rocket here? Takes so long. Oh no! So more optical fibers, computers, fuel packs. Nice. So we got five drones. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Wait. The first. The first person uh, view. Okay. Two rockets and well, I think it was three rockets and two minigun drones. But at least we have survived. And how are how are my turrets? Good enough. Uh, half, well, or two thirds, and you, and you are fine. Three turrets is plenty, plenty. Okay, so guys, give me a moment. Uh, I won't even. I will leave my my hover vessel parked outside. I will just go down, drop 
my fuel. Well, we can go. We can talk while, while I uh, while I while I move. I will just drop my Rotex. I need to bring all of them, and you, you never know what you are going to run into. So this is this was the loot. Very nice. I will sort everything later. In the computers, 16. I think I had two or four. We got 14 out of the amazing. Got 14 out of uh, out of this, so that's really nice. Can power up my base a little bit more. 12%, percent one hour 40. It's plenty. Look at this 32%. Slowly we are getting there. I want first aid, maximum health. And I want to bring the sandwiches. Now, with a, with a lot of video editing, my friends, with a lot of video editing, I will search a little bit more for golems, and that's and that's going to be the end of our episode. Let's just check any information of the Zarax. No. Okay. So let's hunt for some golems. And look at this. Look at the marker, golem, 70 met meters, and there it is, when, oh, oh, the golem is over there. Let me just get these spiders out, out of the way, slowly. We will now move this side, which quickly, come on, and I hate, come on, the time that it takes. Where are the spiders? Ow! Down, open wound, and the sp It's the same spiders. Oh, and. Really? Oh, oh, come on, come on. Okay, we have everyone here. Die on me, and I am risking it. Have an open wound. Okay, tab. Ooh, look at this. Look at the amount of spiders. But I also saw a wood something. Uh, a wood walker. I have to have some turrets on my hover vessel. Last one. <gasps> so next, I will need some time in my base to craft. Craft something for the. Wounds. So the golem is down. What did we get? Oh, so, so, so worth it. Nine more Prometheum. Okay, and the wood. Oh, the wood somewhere. Oh, come on. I saw the wood, but well, I have uh, plenty of spiders. First, if I want. Do I have any wood marker around here? No. Oh, it might be that one. 400 meters. Another golem? Really? Really? It's Christmas. Christmas. And but the spiders are really annoying. Especially that one. Come on. Out. Out. And uh, some of the games you can pretty much exit the cockpit even if you are on full flight. On this one. You really need to be stopped. Well at least I I just need to handle these two dudes. And there they, there they are. Stop. Man, I am stopped. The, the time that it takes for me to stop the ship. It's really, really annoying. I am 100 meters from them, trying to stop the ship. Am I alone? Seems like, like, like I am. And if I can get that second one. Oh, 
overload. Spider, it is no more. Follow me. Also down. Clearly, I need a better cooper vessel. What do you have for me? What the, what the hell? Where did that guy come from? Where? Come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. I will even use you. There you go. Not going to risk it. I'm going to use you. Give me my health back. You are alone. You are alone, so I will go over here. Turn around. Kind of takes a while. There you go. And you, you are going to get my sniper in the face. There you go. Now I'm down. You are down. Okay, so mushrooms. Well, not really. Well, the wood walkers are not that important anymore. Well, you still need the wood. Well, let's, let's not complain. So, mark map. Over here we have wood golem. Yeah, this area here with these two markers. We, we did find two golems. Wow, man. Look at this. Gold. We, ooh, we can craft our EVA. So nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I wanted to stay here for a little, a little while longer. So, guys, I will meet you back at the base. Unless I run into a golem to craft the EVA. Okay. And really excited, my friends. Down. Nice. Okay. Ooh, and the best way also arrive back at your base with uh, the crops. You can pick up the crops. Okay. So if I go F4, this is what I got from our small trip. The mushrooms. I don't know if I can craft some sprouts. Oh, and we have also one natural sweetener. There you go. All of that it's resources. Let me connect to the main to the main cargo. We have the main cargo over here. So we got uh, a little bit of copper, uh, iron, and silicon. I did get in some rocks before finding the golems. I don't know uh, if the golems gave me a little bit more of this, but except for this and i think a little bit of this it's from the golems we got six erastrum nine promethium two gold five neodymium and eight magnesium i think it, even this magnesium might open up um, rocket options for us that's really really amazing finish off so beautiful and i craft where, where where can i can i craft the eva eva gold ingot get the gold Oh, I might not be able to get the gold ingot out of this. Ademium, yep. This one, if I check over here. Yep. That's so, yep. There you go, turn on. Let's, let's enjoy the crafting. If you play Dark Rogue, you will enjoy stuff that you haven't enjoyed before. Crafting the EVA, it's clearly one of those. There you go. I might not enjoy that much because it will take a while. Let me uh, go up here. Am I connected to anything? No. So let's all of these. No tomato vegetables. Oh, so nice. Let's run to our fridge. Look at this. Ten plant proteins. Yep. The hunger. The hunger games or the hunger time. It it is over. Even eat my sandwiches. Oh, what? what? Oh. I was almost breaking my, my fridge with all my food. Let's not <laughs> look at this. That would be horrible to break the fridge. Okay, let's let's not <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, so with all of this, plenty of food. We can. Ooh, I think it it has unlocked pretty much everything. Look at this. Pizzas. Uh, Ratatouille, meat burgers, even the, the canned vegetables and whatnot. The next step would be crafting some spice sprouts. Because I think I can. Where are they? Here they are. Spice sprouts. Yeah, we can craft one and then get more, more to craft more. 
and that will, will also unlock some some recipes. One EVA. So beautiful. And with this EVA, I'm pretty sure that I will be fine outside, even on this planet. No more shenanigans of being too cold. The problem with EVA is it it it, it um, reduces your armor. Off. We are still not swimming in fuel, so always turn off your the crafters, your crafting stations. Or give me where are you? Where am I, where am I placing? Oh, I'm placing it on the on the armor, on the ammo box. EVA. But I think you need it. Okay. It has a cold protection of 190, but less 80 armor. So our armor value is 250. 107, 170, which it kind of it is two thirds of the the regular value. So you would take 100 points of damage. You will take 130 points of damage. Okay, EVA boost. Very long episode. And even a new one. Get a couple of burgers for for when I return. And then, and but let's just. You are outside. Well, I don't need to go any further. But you are outside. Less 54. And sing, dance over here. Nothing it will happen to me. Beautiful. EVA boost is done. Which was another... It, it is another step in progression. I have this room over here also done. That I'm going to close off over here. Yes, that was my work while I was waiting for the base attack. And while I'm crafting some burgers, this is it, my friends. Let me just check. No, no base attack, no nothing. So, pretty much everything that I wanted to do, I did, except explore the cave. We might go there next episode. I need to craft healing items. I, I did spend the, the last two that I had. I have over here the, um, the contamination kit, and the trauma kit. These clearly are the last ones, except for these ones. But these ones, they don't heal. In terms of healing, if I want to heal, I have these two kits and I have the bandage that I used and the health pack. So I need to craft more. I don't know if I can craft the health pack, but bandages, I will be able to do so. So um, that's that's really, really nice. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you.